unbelievable. Unbelievable. Um, and the guy uh, who produced and got it all together, a guy uh, called Simon Sheridan, we owe him hugely because uh, basically he saw that the real thing didn't get the due. And he also saw that in a lot of cases, we've been airbrushed out because whenever a lot of people were talking about black music, especially over here, um, we virtually didn't get a mention, basically. Um, and his films changed all that. Mm. It's completely changed all that, you know. And um, it's such a fantastic um, milestone. It's probably the biggest thing that's happened to the real thing since the first big hit record. Yeah, it's, I mean, that makes a lot of sense. I can't exp express to you how important a document it is for the group. And that is purely down to that guy, Simon Sheridan, you know. Was, he, was, he, was he a huge fan? Is, is that why he, he made the documentary? He was a fan, yeah. And it was all his idea, his own money and everything. He came in one day and put the idea to us. He really hit it off with my brother, Eddie, at the time. Mm -hmm. And um, when he got us all on board, everything else is, it just worked out fantastic, you know. Um, and it's a masterpiece, I think, from him. It really is. <laughs> He's brought things into the film that even we weren't aware. You know, it's weird. Things that we've forgotten, I mean. You know? How did it? How long did it take to make? Three years. Oh. And and so, do you think has that kind of paved the way, maybe, for you to to release some new stuff? Absolutely, absolutely. I mean, look, the record company did a fantastic um, best of album, which was unlike a best of album because it's got thirty one tracks on, and some of the you know most of the tracks are classic, you know. Um, I mean, it's, it really is a classic album, but it's not the same as doing a new album, mm. a new one, you know? But it is a very important document for the real thing to have them 31 tracks on there. Because otherwise, some of them uh, were before they were digitalized and things like that. And now people can get all them tracks like Liverpool Age, Stand Up Street, Children of the Ghetto, things like that, they can get them all on the one album, which is excellent for us. And it did very, very well in the charts as well. So that was fantastic. Um, but now we're into obviously doing something new. And we've got a lot of songs that we're developing at the moment for that. And hopefully this year will be the first time that we've actually got a product, a proper produced product to present. And I just hope that they realise um, that there is a market there for the real thing. That I do know now. 